Ian here for Academy Class. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set in and out points in After Effects. In and out points allow you to decide which part of the video you want to work with. So let's have a look at my current setup. I've got a composition already set up. And in the project panel, I've got two videos that I want to work with. First of all, I'm going to double click on the video to load it up. And you can see here we've got the composition and the footage. So we're going to be working in the footage section. Next, we can move the playhead to decide when we want the video to start. Now, if you do know the exact time, you can click here on the preview time, and then you can type in the time you want. So I want to start this video at nine seconds. So if I type in nine zero zero, and then I can press OK. And that moves my playhead exactly to nine seconds. And now I can click on this icon here to insert the in point. Now, just to show you what that does, I'll just move the playhead a little out of the way. So that sets the bar here to start at nine seconds. So the bar represents when your video will start. And then shortly, I'll move the end point here, the out point, to where it will end. So I'm going to uh, set the end point, the out point, to 16 seconds. You can either drag it over, or again, you can use the preview time. I'll just put it roughly at 16 seconds. Go. and then I'll set the out point. So now I've got the part of the video I want to work with and I want to move it into my subway composition timeline here. So I can just quickly check here that the edit target is the subway. We've got these two buttons, the overlay edit and the ripple insert edit. Now these tools will do exactly the same at the moment because we have nothing in the timeline. And another thing to also consider is where is the playhead in the timeline? So if I want to insert the video at four seconds, I can move my playhead to four seconds. Then I'll need to come back here to footage to see the video with this in and out points. And then I can click on any of these at the moment to insert the video at four seconds. So let's see what those icons do. So I'm just going to come over to the next video. Again, I'll double click on that. And then I'll set an in point, let's say here, for example. So click on the in point icon. And then I'll move forward in time to, let's say here. I'll set the out point. Now I'm going to move the playhead so it's overlapping my existing video clip let's say here again I'll just need to come back here to footage so I can see the in and out points and if I choose this one overlay edit you can see it just really puts it on top and wherever the playhead is that's where it will start from I'll just undo that Next, I'll come back into, uh, into the footage. And then let's have a look at what this one does, the ripple insert edit. Now, before I click on it, just take a look at the bar here. So the bar for the in and out points, the part of the footage that I want to work with. And you'll see that it splits it into two. So if I click on the ripple insert edit. So what it basically does, it inserts this new video clip in between the previous video clip because the playhead was over the existing clip. So you can see here, this bit here is the first part of it. And then this second bit over here is the second part. And then my new clip when they're running through the subway has been inserted into there. Now we've set the in and out points, but they're not permanent. They can be changed at any point. So there's a few ways of changing them. We can either double click back on the bars. And then we can change the in and 
out point just simply by moving or by putting the playhead at a new time and for example setting the new out point and you can see as I do that it's adapting showing on the timeline or another way to do it is to use some keyboard shortcuts so for example I'll move my playhead here and I want to move the in point a bit further to the left so I can use some keyboard shortcuts so I can hold down the alt key or the option key on the Mac and then the left squared bracket known as the opening bracket just need to make sure I'm on the right layer there left square bracket and you can see it extends the in point or if I move over to the end here and I press alt and the right square bracket or the closing square bracket you can see I can change the out point so I hope you found the video useful thank you for watching